Hello, so I um, decided to choose my topic on what is worth teaching. So I think this is pretty important because I think every teacher has that moment where they're like, oh, what should I teach? Uh, what is going to be most important for my students to learn and stuff? So I thought it'd be interesting to touch on that topic. So my first question is, how can I teach using the spirit? And so I think that's really important, especially um, as Latter-day Saints. And so a first thought that came um, was that in order to teach um, with the spirit, you have to create an environment that can hold the spirit. So um, we have to make an environment where the spirit can dwell in the first place. And so a cool um, scripture that went along with this is Doctrine and Covenants 42.14. And it says, The Spirit shall be given unto you by the prayer of faith. And if you receive not the Spirit, you shall not teach. And I think that's just kind of really like drives the point home that um, you can't teach unless you have the Spirit. So it's really important to have it. And so it's um, we just have to prepare ourselves um, in any way so that we can get the inspiration to have the Spirit with us. And then my next question is, how can I truly understand what the Spirit is trying to tell me so that I can reach out to those in need? And I think this kind of goes along with the same, or with the question before. Um, and so, um, I, the, it was really important, again, to prepare correctly. Again, that's, um, you have to, um, you know, read your scriptures, pray. Um, allow the spirit to dwell and just be willing to hear what he has to say and you just have to really like ask in faith and be like all right I'm listening like what do you want me to say and then also another important thing that's really frustrating is to be willing to change our lesson plans um, if we um, you know make our lesson plan and we feel like this is right but then the day before, it doesn't feel right. Then we need. Then the spirit's telling us that we need to start. Um, we need to touch on something else. Then we have to be willing to do that, um, because the spirit could be telling you to teach something that someone really needs to hear. So I think that's really important. And then my last question was, how can I, or what can I do to guide my students most effectively? And I think this is another thing that um, teachers you know, really want to do, um, they want to, like, make an impact on their student's life, and I actually sent these questions to, um, one of the partners in our class, and she came back with this really great quote that I share, that I share, and it's from Elder Hales, and he said, great teachers know not only the subject they are teaching, but understand the needs of their students, get to know what is happening in their lives. We have to know their concerns, what they are facing, why they act the way they do, and why they say the things they say. So I think it's really important to not just be the person staying in front of the classroom that's like, you know, just talking to like a brick wall or something, but we need to um, really understand them and like know where they're coming from so that we can uh, teach them the most effectively because they're not going to listen to us if they feel like we're not going to listen to them. So, um... Anyway, just going through this process, it, it really taught me um, that the Spirit is really important and that we will know what to do through Him and through praying and through being obedient. And um, so, yeah. <laughs>